Okay, I am in Goodowry, Georgia. Actually, New Goodowry, uh, for a snowboarding trip, little vacation. I've waited one year for their resorts to open here, and they finally opened um, a week ago. So I'm going to show you what $50 a night can get you here in New, Go New Goodowry, Georgia. I really hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> So we are on the top floor, which is number five here, and we are in the um, Redco building loft number one, is what our building is called. So they have lots of storage here for all your stuff. You've got a double closet. And this place is actually, it's outfitted uh, for a long-term stay. Like look at all this storage space. Then the bathroom. There is no washer here. So this is the first place, um, Airbnb we've stayed in, in Georgia so far after a whole year that has not had a washer in this unit. There are some others, uh, other properties that did have a washer, but they uh, were definitely more expensive. Those are more like 60 to $70 a night. And because we're only here for, uh, let's see, three nights, I didn't think that that was worth the extra cost. So you got a little table here with chairs. This converts into a sofa bed. You have a little kitchenette. And this, they actually had a lot of uh, cooking items here, which I was really surprised with. So you just have a two burner. The refrigerator is right here. So it's just a little uh, dorm fridge size one. But again, just for a weekend trip, uh, that's, that's really all you need. But for the dishes they had, um, that's a pressure cooker. Then they also have like all of these, a, a shredder, um, a funnel. If you're gonna cook something that you needed to strain, you know, like pasta, they have that. So I was really impressed with all their cooking uh, utensils, gear. <laughs> Then the bed, so this is a, a queen size bed. It wasn't hard, but it definitely was not as soft as some of the other places uh, we've lived or stayed here. TV, that's a smart TV on the wall, so we are um, mirroring or uh, casting from our phones onto it. This heater, oh my gosh, it's, it, actually warmed up this entire place. It, <laughs> I was pretty impressed with it. And then we have the balcony. So the, oh, you can't see it, but the snowboarding, or the mountain uh, to go, the, what are they called? Ski trails. It's behind that building there. But you still have this view here. And then this is, I mean, big enough of a space for like a table and two chairs. Say cheese. <laughs> so, oops. So my overall opinions on this place, um, it's right close to the 
Uh, it's a ski in, ski out uh, with the, the gondola, which is amazing. It's only $50 a night. The bed, pretty comfortable. Um, the downfall to this, and this isn't this apartment specifically, but this entire building, the walls are very, very thin. So like, <laughs> We could literally hear our neighbors talking clear as day. We There is um, people staying in the room across the hall in down one room. And I could, I mean, I felt like they were right in our room. So that's a downside to this one. But totally, I mean, for $50 a night in the heart of ski season, um, ski in, ski out, you can't go wrong here. So this is a very good experience. Let me know, would you stay in this place? Is it worth $50 a night? Let me know in the comments below. As always, like the video and subscribe for more unique travel adventures videos. And the next one will come up right here in three, two, one.